This vlog is a continuation of a previous vlog discussing administrative distance or the believability of a routing protocol. In this example, we've got four routers, router one, router two, router three, and router four. Router two in this topology is only running OSPF. We can see that by using the show IP protocols command. It has a relationship with both router one and router four. Router three in this topology is running RIP and EIGRP. Now in the real world, you typically don't enable a whole bunch of routing protocols on your routers. We're doing it here to explain administrative distances. So show IP protocol on router one. Router one is running RIP, EIGRP, as well as OSPF. Router four is doing the same. So on router one, show IP route, the route of interest in this topology is quadruple four. That's a loopback on router four. We can see in the routing table of router one that the route appears in the routing table and the protocol selected was EIGRP. That's because EIGRP has an administrative distance of 90, which we can see here. OSPF has an administrative distance of 110. The loopback of router two has been learnt via OSPF because we're not running EIGRP on router two. The lower the administrative distance, the more believable the routing protocol. So this route was selected because EIGRP has a lower admin distance. Show IP OSPF database shows us that the route is available in the OSPF database, but EIGRP was selected because it has the lowest administrative distance. So at the moment, show run section EIGRP shows us that EIGRP is enabled on router one. So if we remove EIGRP from router one and then look at the routing table, what you'll notice is that the route has been added from OSPF. The next hop is via 10112. If we scroll up previously, the next hop was 10.1.2.2 which is router three. But because EIGRP is no longer running on router one, the route is now available via router two and was learnt through OSPF. So as an example, if we trace to that route now, notice that it goes via router two. We're still running RIP on this router. So RIP is running on router three, router one and router four, but the RIP route is not selected for quadruple four because RIP has a higher administrative distance when compared to OSPF. So the loopback of router three is advertised via RIP to router one. And because OSPF is not advertising that route, the RIP route is put into the routing table. But because OSPF is advertising this route and it has a lower administrative distance when compared to RIP, the OSPF route is used, not the RIP route. So to confirm that and try and prove it to you, I'm going to remove EIGRP from router three. So router three is running RIP. It's not running EIGRP. RIP is the only routing protocol running on router three. So on router one, we can see the loopback of router three learned via RIP, but we don't see the loopback of router four because OSPF takes precedence. So let's remove OSPF, show IP route. We haven't learned about the route through RIP yet. So let's do some investigation to make sure things are working. Show IP route on router three. Notice the route has been learned via RIP on router one. It's now available. I was a bit impatient. RIP takes longer to advertise routes. So now ping quadruple four, trace quadruple four. It's going via router three. And that's because the only routing protocol that's running on router one is RIP. So the routing table is populated with RIP routes. The router won't be able to ping the loopback of router two because RIP is not running on router two. 
So we'd need to enable Rip on Router 2 if we wanted full connectivity in this network. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna prove to you that OSPF takes precedence. So notice the RIP route is in the routing table with an administrative distance of 120. Hop count is two. It's available via 10.1.2.2. It's been in the routing table for 19 seconds and it's available via gigabit 01. Let's enable OSPF network and I'll enable OSPF on all interfaces. Show IP OSPF neighbor. We have a neighbor relationship with router two. Show IP route. Notice the routing table has been updated. OSPF takes precedence over RIP. So the path used to get to quadruple four is via router two. If we enable EIGRP on this router, traffic will still go via router two because we need to enable EIGRP on router three. So let's do that, router EIGRP, enable EIGRP in all interfaces. Neighbor relationship has been established. So show IP EIGRP neighbor, neighbor relationship is available. Show IP route, the EIGRP route has now been put into I'll the cover routing other table scenarios based on this trace to that loop back, videos. It's going via I hope you enjoyed free. the video. So if it's been of benefit to you, please distances like work it as follows. And please also subscribe. The lowest number wins. I want to wish you different all the routing protocols have different administrative distances set by default. You can change them. RIP is 120. OSPF is 110. EIGRP internal routes is 90. But I could, as an example, add a route to the routing table statically. So add a static route to force the traffic to go via router two. Now when we look at the routing table, notice the static route has replaced EIGRP because a static route to a next hop IP address has an admin distance of one. There's nothing more believable than you, as in the router believes you more than it believes a algorithm such as EIGRP or OSPF. And that's because you know what you're doing and the router believes you more than it believes other routers. So once again, trace is via router two, show run pipe include route. We've got the static route forcing the traffic via router two. I'll remove the static route, show IP route. EIGRP is the most believable now. Traffic is going via router three. Remove EIGRP. OSPF route takes precedence now. Traffic is going via router two. So that is a demonstration of administrative distance or the believability factor of a route. For the CCNA exam, you need to know admin distances. In a separate video, I'll show you an example with BGP. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.